Hi, Mark Gordon with GoldenTicker.com on Wednesday, July 25th, 2012 with a silver forecast. This is the SLV, the silver ETF, up about 1.5% today. And we are right along this trend line here, this upper trend line that's been in place since March. And uh, we are challenging that sitting right on top of it right now. We have peaked our head above it uh, for the first time in quite a long time here, so that's a nice bullish signal there. And uh, we have crawled above this red line here, which is the 21-day moving average, which is now flattening out. And so is this gray line here. This is the 10-day moving average, also flattening out. Volume has been light. Uh, we did have a, a kind of a, a, a massive selling day here uh, back about mid-month. But that was actually a nice bullish recovery here with prices closing at the top of the range. So, um, you know, some pretty much sideways action going on right now building a sort of a wedging uh, 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 shape here. And I've drawn a, a line along the lows here. So our trend line along the lows is starting to actually strengthen here. So we're being forced into a, de a decisive move here in silver. Will it break to the downside or the upside? We just don't know. Um, odds are starting to favor an upside breakout with the moving uh, average, uh, the 21 day moving average uh, flattening out and, and momentum shifting a little bit. And uh, scrolling down here to the MACD, uh, you can see that the MACD has, has uh, uh, given us a bullish signal. Let's point it up here. And the black line, which is the faster moving average, is above the blue line, the slower moving average. So that's a nice bullish sign there as well. Um, down here uh, with uh, stochastics, you can see those are pointed up as well, not overbought yet. So a little bit of bullish action coming into the silver. Um, but uh, not out of the woods yet, still in an intermediate term downtrend. Uh, short term, we are just moving sideways. Going now to a weekly chart of silver, you can see these tight closes uh, for the last four weeks here. Uh, that's showing support down here at the $26 level here in silver. It's a nice little sign to see uh, these tight closes. Uh, you can see us coming up to challenge this 10-week moving average, which is starting to flatten out a bit. And uh, so on a weekly chart, you can definitely see the downtrend that has been plaguing the silver market since uh, we had this sort of intermediate term peak here in February. And moving on now to a monthly chart of silver, you can see the corrections that have plagued uh, the silver uh, market here. Um, this has been a wild ride here uh, uh, in 08, peaking out at 21.44 and dropping all the way to $8.40 here. Uh, this was during uh, the whole market debacle back here in uh, late 08. And uh, you can see uh, the various uh, cups uh, that it has broken out of uh, continually along the way. Um, we are down below this green dotted line, which is a 20-month moving average. Uh, when we're below that on a monthly chart, we're said to be in a bear market. You can clearly see the bear market that silver has been in. You can see the three tight monthly closes happening here. Uh, in the silver, showing support down here uh, around the $25, $26 level. Uh, we did undercut this uh, previous low of uh, $26.15 by just five cents here. And we're trying to uh, build uh, maybe a base down here and set up for a run to the upside. Should things uh, break below $26.10, uh, your next point of, uh, of uh, support will come from this black dotted line, which is the 40-month moving average coming in right at 2572, 2572. So uh, tight action down here, retesting, uh, uh, you know, for the third or fourth time here, uh, the lows uh, that have been in place uh, back since uh, 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 2011. So of course, you see this massive run, uh, silver breaking out at about 20 bucks and more than doubling here, uh, almost getting to 50 bucks, and then a real steep correction. Uh, coming in right now. So um, uh, actually 47.72 percent correction so far from the very top to the very bottom. So not out of the woods yet on silver. Let's hope that this uh, uh, basing holds here and we start a trend moving to the upside. But for now, um, let's uh, watch and see.